my dear children today we are going to study geography chapter number 3 comparing a globe and a map field visits chapter number 3 comparing a globe and a map that is field visits that means in this chapter we are going to study about two dimensional objects as well as three dimensional object maps globe field visit geography museum etc friends we have seen how meridians and parallels are drawn on a globe you know what is a globe it is a small model of the earth we have also learned how they are used to determine the location in this lesson let us compare a map and a globe and understand the difference between them we have to understand what is a map what is a globe just see north america europe asia africa atlantic ocean south america south america indian ocean australia pacific ocean arctic ocean all oceans as well as the seven continents are shown See the India map over here. See this is a globe. This is a small model of the Earth. Can you see it? Just see. If you make big, it can't be seen properly. So that will be as it is. Okay. Yeah. See here, figure three point one. It is a world map, outland map of India, as well as a globe. Now here some questions are given. Which device is flat? Which device is spherical? Means round. Which of these devices allows you to see the entire area of the Earth at the same time? which device allows you to see the whole one side of the earth at a time which device can be used for studying a particular region in detail which device can be called a model of the earth so here it's an explanation you must have observed that maps are two dimensional whereas a globe is a three dimensional two dimensional objects have length and width length as well as the wideness the product of length and the width defines area the product means the multiplication that is of length length means you know lambi width means the broadness it defines the area the place of that area how much it is three dimensional objects have length width and height the product of these provides volume these three dimensional objects having length lambi width means broadness as well as height unchai the product of these provides tells us about the volume maps can be used to study the whole world or also the regions of limited extent see here what are maps maps can be used to study the whole world or also the regions the place of that limited area that extent how small or large the globe is it is only a representative model of the entire earth the globe what it is how very small it is it is very small or the large globe it is only a model representative means to look that is the whole earth can be seen on that globe see what is two dimensional a surface having two dimensions that is the length as well as the width is called two dimensional example paper blackboard table top plan etc these all are two dimensional objects three dimensional objects 
an object having three dimensions such as the length the width the height or the thickness is called as a three dimensional example a duster box glass pot hill the moon etc these all are the three dimensional objects the people go for the field visit educational trip the school takes the children for the educational trip a field visit is an important method of studying geography field visits help us to understand the geographical and social conditions of a place now when you go to field visit we study geography over there it help us to understand the social conditions of that place moreover it provides an opportunity to directly interact with the local people and to understand the problems what it does it tells us it is providing us an opportunity to have a direct contact with the people living over there and to understand their problems with the help of your teachers visit one of the following places to know the geographical condition of the area if you have a time you can go with the teachers to visit one of the place that is a planetarium post office bus station mall hill sea coast small scale industry study places like these to observe and record various features now when the teacher takes you to the field visit you can visit to some of these places like post office it's nearby your house or somewhere or the bus station my dear children nowadays most of the students go to the malls with the parents hills sea coast and even some small scale industries and then you have to study and you have to observe that and write down what you have seen over there the teacher will guide you at the time of the field visit prepare a question questionnaire with the help of your teacher and take interviews wherever it is necessary note down the responses make sketches or other notes now whenever you have some question you prepare this question and with the help of your teacher you can take some interviews wherever it is necessary you note down all the things what you have seen or draw the sketches or write down the notes in order to draw a map of the whole world first a wire globe is prepared a source of light is placed inside the globe then the projection of the wire that is graticule is obtained on the paper this projection is used to draw maps thus a graticule is essential for drawing the map of the earth or any part of it that is how a two dimensional map is obtained on the paper from a three dimensional globe see this globe there's a light inside this globe and this is a map just see it geography museum Earth Earth is the largest operational globe in the world. It is housed at Yarmouth in the state of May in the United States of America. The rotation and the revolution speed of this globe is maintained as per that of the Earth. This is an Earth it is a museum over there just see properly it is an largest operational globe and it is based or it is housed at yarmouth in the states of maine that is in the united states of america the rotation as well as the revolution speed of this globe is maintained per that of the earth so my dear children 
In this chapter, we have to study about the two-dimensional objects as well as the three-dimensional object we have studied. What is a map? What is a globe? Then field visit. When the teacher takes you to any field visit from the school side, as well as the museum, that is this Artha. So we have finished the chapter over here. I'll give you a short note or summary of this chapter as well as a worksheet to solve it. Thank you.